The National Assembly Transport Committee is blaming owners and management of Matatu Sacos for the increased road carnage in the country. So if it's a conglomerate of people coming together to form a CEO, I mean to form a SACO, then it's a person whom they have taken, given responsibility to call a CEO. That is a person who should go to jail, number one, before the driver. So that this issue of telling us that, oh, you know, you, have a, you had a driver who was drunk, whose responsibility is to recruit a driver? The CEO. Oh, you had a driver who was not properly trained. Who is supposed to recruit a, a properly trained driver? It's a CEO. Why, why do they want to run away? From responsibility. If an accident occurs today, what happens? We look for driver. Maybe the, the driver has died. So what, what happens next? Nothing. The case dies. This time, this committee is going to propose a serious legislation. The committee sitting in Mombasa announced that roads that are infamous are black spots, including Salga in Nakuru, Salama along Mombasa Road, and the North Airport Road, will be converted to dual carriage highways. The bigger one is from Mombasa all the way to Kisumu, right? But that is really a mega plan and that's slow. But we know we cannot wait for that. And that's why we have suggested to them as a quick measure to look at those 12 kilometers straight of Sajangwan to build a dual carriage immediately. So and the that, dual carriage will take like 12 kilometers from Sajangwan bridge up to total. That is a bridge going to, or that is a junction going to uh, Kisumu. That way we believe that, you know, most of that, those accidents are occurring because of head-on collusion. And we want uh, cars going up, uh, that is towards uh, Nakuru, I mean, towards the Loret, will use a different road, and then coming down to Nakuru from the Loret or Kisumu will use a different road in that area, which has killed a lot of Kenyans. Members say reforms at the National Transport and Safety Authority, NTSA, and automation of traffic management systems to nab speeding and reckless drivers will help curb road accidents. Meanwhile, Transport Committee Vice Chairperson Moses Kuria says they are advocating for public-private partnership in financing to fast-track the implementation of the LabSet project set for completion by 2030. We are nowhere near completing the three bars and we are hoping to do 29 baths. So you can see why this is you know, really not feasible. We have not started on the, on, the, on, the, on the refinery in Lamu. We have not started on a single resort that was envisaged for. And all this is because we are still you know, living in that uh, belief that you can be able to carry out the rough set like it's a, just a normal small project. And Kenya Film Commission Board CEO Ezekiel Mtua is urging Parliament to fast track the review of the Film and Stage Plays Act to facilitate the regulation of social media in the country. But that law is a 1963 law. It needs to be aligned to our constitution right now, constitution of Kenya 2010. It needs to address the emerging technological uh, advancement and the challenges that come with even online distribution of content. It needs to address the realities of our time. And we have presented a bill to parliament. We are appealing to Duale, to Honorable Duale, and the members of parliament that they give this a priority. Mutua, who was speaking at the Technical University of Mombasa, says the board lacks power to prosecute culprits and relies on the Ministry of Interior and other government agencies. Juni Karisa from Mombasa County.